Oh, yes, sir. Hey, cue that win the fat guy. Here we go. Yes, sir. Hey, y'all, bring it in. Family, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Listen, as y'all can see, everybody divert your attention over here to the bank collapsing. Guys, I, I, I called it. Obviously, I'm going to post this a little later. I have to do my edit and everything like that. I think I'm going to post this probably around 6 or 7. But right now, time is 4.42 Central Time. Uh, FRC closed down 43%. And has fallen now in the after hours another 41% down to $2.66 and or $2. I think it's $2 flat. $2.6. And then that's minus a dollar and of uh uh 45 cents. Oh geez. Hey, hey guys, it's over. FRC's in the dumper. This is today. This is happening right now. Live action. But like I said, guys, we got a lot to cover. FRC is falling to the Smithers. AMC is on an uptrend. Uh, we got stuff to cover with our AMC stock. Like I said, baby, hey, it's a hey, what a time to be alive, baby. We have to document it. The retail families waking up. Y'all have got to absorb this because you want to take note of these things. So when if they ever happen again in the future, because you got some old heads that are going through this stock market, like, hey, listen. Hey, baby, I seen this thing. You want to note this crazy stuff. You want to note how, how, how this goes. Now, FRC's toes. There is no bounce back office. We already knew this. But the fact is, guys, this is only the start of it. This is a spinoff. Who's they loan to? Who's loan, you know, who's loaned to them? How does this affect them? Hey, let's tap in, though. I got a good little video up here. What are you doing there? About First Republic, it. but it's a tale of two banks on Wall Street at this hour. Yes, First Republic falling right now 30% at the moment to $5.67. Uh, very, very, very sketchy right now as far as how it's going to stand on its own two feet here. I think it's this was yesterday. It's also been halted 16 times during this session alone. You see, total opposite story over at PAC West. That bank is surging 7.8% after it said its deposits, which during the quarter saw outflows of 17%, have now stabilized, and they've seen a small inflow over the past couple of weeks. All right, so as we continue to watch what's going on with First Republic, what is next for this company? Barron's Roundtable panelist and Barron's reporter Carlton English has been working the phones. What is the latest you can tell us? Right now, I mean, how does First Republic even make it through the week? Um, you're looking at what's going on. There's reports. Are they looking to sell bonds? And to what terms? Mind you, I think this came out yesterday, so the banks that already they didn't even make it past, so you know, 48 hours. It doesn't seem to be a coordinated effort to get this This ain't how to make it through the week, man. Point. Next and week is going to be nasty. There was a coordinated effort in mid-March, after Silicon Valley Bank collapsed and then Signature Bank collapsed, First Republic looked like it was obviously walking on stilts that were starting to splinter. So you had Jamie Dimon leading the crew, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, some 11 banks getting they together. They hit them for $100 and, billion, and they said? to add withdrawal? or rescue, bolster this, and they put in $30 billion worth of deposits to First Republic. $30 billion? This company... The market we'll need cap that. at this moment is 1.3 billion. It's Chase, get out of that. Are they going to get together again and get try out and of save that. First Republic a one billion yeah, nothing to do with that bank? I don't see how they can without terms being made ridiculously attractive for them to do so. Because remember, these banks also have a fiduciary responsibility to their. Basically, here we go again, guys, with the same thing they tried to do over there with uh, Credit Suisse, where they had where nobody wanted to buy it. Now they got they they got an emergency deal out where they're trying to get somebody to buy this bank. Buy what bank? It's in Smolders. This is the guys. Not only is this a wicked time to be a short seller, especially if you've been borrowing money, but it's just a wicked time in general. The cost of money is is rising. How much is worth is depleting, all while the financial market is imploding. Oh my. Sure. Oh my! It's one thing to say, "Hey, we tried to do the right thing and step in," but you can't keep throwing good money after bad in this situation. So the only way that this could happen is if the government gives some sort of backstop to the banks that try to do the right thing, or if you have some sort of warrants that are offered. You know that kind of sweetheart deal that uh, Warren Buffett got uh, during the financial crisis with Bank of America, but that's dilutive to the existing First Republic shareholders. So I mean, there are no good options here right now. This stock is crashing, and I. <laughs> Nev, I use that word very rarely, especially on a business network, because people get very yeah. upset and nervous and understandably. This but stock is crashing. That was that was before. The, it's and down 80 percent today. Together, you're looking at a 50, 60 percent clip here. 
What is next? You said, can it last the week? Yeah, because the thing that we know is the deposit outflows that we well, had in the first quarter. At least you know Fox going to tell you, hell, they won. But hell, when you factor in the if you was in this in the in. general, you, you lost, you've lost almost 100 percent of your investment. Deposits from this bank, so you know that's gone. That's the obliteration. Believe that's outside it, and we were looking at it earlier. And this is the uh, one in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And they had security there. They had some police standing by. It looks like it's calm at the moment. This is the live picture in uh, the heart of San Francisco for First Republic Bank, where it is based. But, uh, you know, a lot of people have pulled $100 billion during yep. the quarter pulled their deposits. And when you get the type of earnings report that you got on Monday, those that stayed or those that kept some assets with the bank are probably second guessing that decision. Yeah. At the time when you look at what's been going on. If they the held they down 80%. It is great to see you under from this date. circumstances for what I will say are fine people at First date? Republic, no, no. especially the, the rank and file. I've dealt with them. Very good quality. There's one. Of, there's a branch right across the street from us here in New York City. Exactly, and it was known. It's I shouldn't say was. It's been known <laughs> yeah. as a very service-oriented bank. Um, yes, and they are. They are. I mean, they go above she and beyond for the clients. That business model worked very well in a low interest rate environment. With <laughs> it's the a training rapidly, it just does not appear to be working. Yeah. When the facts change, the company did not change. Thank you, Carlton. Thank you, Carlton. Well, guys, we're in the midst of it. We're right in the midst of black swan events left and right, guys. What a time to be alive. All right, let's tap down into our sweet looking play here. Let's pull this up at it. Look at this debauchery. Woo wee! Can't be me. All right, but here's my sweet baby. AMC busting out the seams um, at max pain of 550. Obviously, I pulled this number up here where obviously the thing multiple times went to break out and they had to hit it with, you know, whatever short attack they could to try to stall that out. Uh, uh, impossible movement, this thing's ready to go. Um, something crazy that, that I know it was, y'all come down here and look at this here. The 24th, right, is when we had this movement. Do, do, and it's been running from since that. Up here is the form four of Intera Capital on the 24th so four days ago they sold d over here uh disposed of uh 1.5 million ape shares and on that same day bought 1 million amc shares of the common stock this correlates to what we're seeing in our price movement over here obviously this is 424 and then ape which they're probably going to decimate to the ground, guys. The further eight falls, what, what are we looking at? 150. And this was, let's go to 424. Yeah. 424. They're going to continue to drop that, guys. The more that you see these institutions, which I'm seeing more institutions buying in, they've raised their uh, uh, holdings in AMC this corner. The more institutions that buy in here is the more that y'all can be like, okay, everybody knows that something's about to happen over here. Guys, we're looking at a 26.62% uh, short interest, 6.63 uh, days to cover. Don't know how the days to cover are going down and uh, there's no shares available. Uh, nonetheless, on Stocko Tracker, they have 650,000 shares available. Synthetic, it's irrelevant. This is nonsensical. It doesn't even matter at this point. Um, at 178%, they've been borrowing all day uh, multiple shares. So they've had multiple blocks, 400, 350, 600, 600. You can see how many shares they've already toggled through in the day, borrowing at 200% interest. Uh, this is all still nonetheless. Without that conversion, guys, she's off the rails. She's off the rails. There's no stopping that. She's off the rails, which is why I'm thinking that they're buying an AMC to start hedging up as if they know something's going on. Double tapping in on their off exchange is at 50.16%. So that means that 50% of the price movement or 50% of the buys and sales are occurring on the dark pool as of today. Uh, you know, this is absurd. <laughs> this is absurd. But like I said, very similar to uh, 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 two years ago, where we're priming up. What, it, but what, we, what is it? What are, we, what are we busting into? What's next month? What is this? This is May. We're going into May. June following that? June two years ago was a, a, a spicy one, but I just don't see how they can, at this pace, make it that long.
it, it can't keep moving. They can't fight this battle. Even if, uh, the way that they're fighting it, it's still progressing way too fast to say that in two, you know, two months or more now at this point. I still haven't gotten in a uh, word if they uh, finished sending in the documents they were supposed to request to send at the end of business day. But either way it goes, it seems like this case is going to be going past two months regardless. But two months is a hell of a time. It's a hell of a time to be alive. Uh, let's see over here. Uh, oh, yeah, this was just the uh, form four. That's what I pulled up and showed us here. So I think that's basically everything we covered. Let me pull that FRC up just one more time just to look at that bad boy. Oh! Oh, no, it's collapsing. Hey, hey, guys, guys, I'll tell you one thing. If you're in FRC, you need to get out and don't play around with any of this banking sector. This stuff is not a game. You cannot treat everything like a, a momentum a play. This is in a play of banking. This is you don't need to play with nothing bank, nothing with the banks. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Right now, we, we don't know how much this ripple effect is going to go off. There's too much that is broken out. There's too much money that's been absorbed. They still haven't accounted for the FTX thing. I know they're saying they're building money up, but the, the assets, that amount of those billions, hundreds of billions of dollars, that's gone. You still haven't accounted for that. Now you have hundreds of billions leaving out of the banking sector, banks collapsing. Oh, no. What about the loans, the loaners? Oh, shyster. Hey, but guys... Hey, 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 I hope that y'all are feeling it. It's getting a little spicy out here. It's getting a little spicy out here. Hey, listen, much love to y'all. Love all the support, man. Hey, well, hey, you're making a dream come true. And like I said, we are going to continue to produce and provide you with some excellent, excellent information with entertainment. We'll call it edutainment is what we're getting over here. While making money, the whole plot is at the end of the day, guys. We're linking up retail. This is a retail hub, like I said. This is the beginning of a retail saga. We're about to be sitting up on this right here. What's the what's the, what's the name? What's the name? Is this the Money Mafia? What is this? What is this? What what's the name? Are we the Money Mafia? We the, it needs to be a group name. But whatever. What's going on over this channel? We about to even be making some cash. We sticking it down. We bringing down the real facts of it. Hey, y'all hold it down. Hey, have a good weekend. Like I said, I'll probably see y'all boys tomorrow, not Sunday. Hey, hold it down, baby. Yes, sir.